Hi there, Ankit here from E4E Hub. What brings me here again? Well, another common mistake in English, Kwama. This one's related to using two commonly misunderstood prepositions. One is for and the other is since. So for versus since. When do we use them and when we shouldn't? This is a common doubt amongst a lot of learners of English and IELTS candidates as well. Not anymore if you watch this video till the very end. All your confusions gonna vanish in thin air. Before we move ahead, do consider subscribing to this channel and keep us motivated to bring similar lessons like this one to you regularly. It's absolutely free, so please do it, it helps us. Okay, so are we ready to tackle the grammar task at hand? When to use for and when to use since? Let's go! So that's the big grammar question. When do we use for and when do we use since? What's the difference? Let's look at the two in context. The example sentence for four goes something like this. They have been in Mumbai for three years. They have been in Mumbai for three years. Compare that with the example sentence for since. They have been in Mumbai since 2017. Okay. Can you now guess what the rule is? Let me give you that. The rule goes something like this. Let's talk about for first. We always use the preposition for when we want to refer to amounts of time or duration. Something which has a start and the end. We are not talking about fixed specific moments of time. We are talking about a duration. 5 years, 10 days, 2 weeks, 3 hours and so on and so forth. Let's look at the examples used to explain the use of for. Yeah? I've been working as a trainer for about a decade. Let me just grab a pen here. So I have the time phrase for about a decade. Is it a fixed time or a duration of 10 years? It's a duration, right? Yes. Cristiano Ronaldo has been playing football for a long time. Again, is it talking about a fixed moment in time or a duration, a start and the end? For a long time. So here we go. The students have been studying English for nearly six months. Half an year. Yeah. The last example, the kids have already been outside for more than an hour. So around more than 60 minutes and the kids haven't yet returned. So another duration, another span of 60 minutes or more. So all the examples, do we have fixed time? No, we don't. We have amounts of time, duration, something which has a start and the end. That's when we use for every time. Now compare that with the use of since. We use since when we want to refer to specific points in time. If you want to talk about a specific date or a specific day, or an hour, clock time, then you will use since. It means after that point in time. Huh? Let's look at the examples now. I have not seen them since last June. So after June, the previous year, I haven't seen them, met them, spoken to them. Yeah, Fixed time, fixed month last year. Many think that the risk of terrorism has increased since 2011. Another fixed year, 2011. I'm so hungry, my mom's been cooking food since 7 p.m. Fixed time since 7 p.m. Lionel Messi loves playing football. He's been involved in the sport since he was 9 years old. 
So here, even though we don't have a word, we have a phrase which means since the fixed point in time that he turned nine, after that, he's been involved in the sport of football. Hence, the use of since. Whenever we want to refer to anything which has happened after a fixed point in time, not a duration, nothing which has a start or the end, it only has a fixed point. Everything that happens after that can be explained using the word or preposition since. Okay. One more thing for you to note. These are the same examples, the exact same one when, which we saw for use of since. I just want you to read those examples and look for what's common in all of them. There is a grammatical structure, the tense, which is common. I have not seen them since last June. Obviously, every sentence uses since, but apart from that, there's something which is common. Have not seen. So that's the perfect tense. Have plus past participle. If it's past perfect, we use had plus past participle. Many think that the risk of terrorism has increased. Another perfect tense has increased. I'm so hungry, mom's been cooking food since 7 p.m. Even though there is no mention of has, the contracted form mom's means has been cooking. So when we speak, we contract the auxiliary verbs, especially in perfect tenses. So this means my mom has been cooking food since 7. Lionel Messi loves playing football. He's been involved in sport since he was 9 years old. Again, he has been involved in the sport. Okay, so every sentence which uses since has to be a perfect tense. It may be simple perfect or present perfect or past perfect, doesn't matter. But since is only used with perfect tenses and for need not necessarily have perfect tenses to be used. They can also be used with other time periods, other tenses. Yeah? Let's check the little quiz and practice what we learned. To summarize, whenever you want to refer to a fixed moment in time, you will always use since. On the contrary, if you want to refer to a duration, a span, amount of time, a longer period or a shorter period, something which has a start and the end, then you will have to use for. Okay? They have had this car 2016. Since 2016 year is fixed, I'm 100% sure that has to be since okay second mr and mrs smith have lived in this apartment five years five years is it a fixed time or a duration of course it's a duration so i'll use the word for that's what will go with five years so for the period of five years they have lived or stayed in this apartment i have had this job about three years about three years duration means i'm talking about the use of for and not since she's been very patient with him several years again are we given a fixed period of time or a fixed point in time i'm sorry no it's a period several years maybe five years six years ten years we are not clear but it's a duration. For a long time, she's been patient with him. So another example where we use for and not since. John has been a surgeon 2010. Just like the first example, here we have the fixed time 2010, which means we'll use since and not for. Nobody has seen her then. Okay, this is a little tricky. Then is not a duration, it's a fixed time. 
maybe the people involved in the conversation know which past time or specific point in the past are they referring to so this is a good candidate for since since then you could replace then with any fixed point in time since 2010 or since last week since the second month they have been ill last week now it's not referring to the duration of 7 days it's referring to which week has have they been ill since so they have been ill since last week it's a fixed period and not a duration of a week because you know last the adverb last makes the difference so here we see now you might be clear about when to use for and since hopefully you have if you haven't please replay the video as many times as it gets absolutely clear so how was the quiz how many questions did you get correct i'm hoping all of those right so you now know how to deal with these two trouble makers in english grammar when to use for and when to use since use the comments box below and tell me uh things in english that confuse you or anything in the language or any skills and yes please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking on the notifications bell icon so that you stay updated about our lessons if you want to get in touch on twitter you can go here we are also on facebook in case that's what you're into that's it from me now in this lesson i hope to see you in the very next lesson so please stick by with us follow our channel bye bye happy learning take care